everybody, welcome back. It's Gina. Um, just thought I would um, do a little video today on some projects I'm working on, some that I've completed, and um, I guess this video was brought about by some comments I've had the last couple of days, and it's really made me stop and think about um, my channel and, um, you know, I guess I, I've always tried to keep everything very uh, craft related and I don't know, maybe maybe it's just taken the time to really get the confidence to just kind of chat with you as friends. And so I've had a lot of really positive comments um, lately and it's just made me think that <clears throat> it's probably time I'm less formal and, and just more relaxed on camera, I guess. <laughs> so, um, I want to thank everybody that uh, did leave some comments, you know, that it's it sounds, you know, like there's a, quite a few people that kind of want to get to know me as a person, which is very um, moving, to be quite honest, because you often think, you know, maybe people aren't that interested in you as a person and, and what you're day-to-day -day life is so I don't know it's just uh, it really meant a lot to me so thank you guys so much and I thought well there's a lot of stuff you know I've had ideas on things I'd like to do and and they've really felt like they're not really within my comfort zone and I suppose that's one of the things I've taken from this community um, is pushing yourself outside of those comfort zones and I guess it's time that I start doing that um, so this this is the beginning I guess guys um, I have been working on this journal for a while I knew that I wanted to have um, a new journal for 2019 for myself and this one I've been kind of playing with and it's not you know it's not perfect None of my work is perfect. It's it's all, you know, I, hopefully I'm improving day by day. But I really enjoyed this, and, and I love this. I'm, I'm really pleased with it because it's the first cover that I made um, out of my scraps and, and just um, patched it together because I'm not a sewer, as you guys know. I've been very open and honest about that. Um, the extent of my sewing has been, you know, what I've done within my journals. Um, but I'm really pleased with how it's come out. Like I said, it's not perfect if you look at it. Some of the stitching is a little bit off, but um, I'm still trying to get familiar with my machine and, and learn, you know, the difference in the uh, weight of thread because it, it obviously plays a part in how the stitching is coming out. But anyways, I just thought I'd give you a quick look at it. Um, this is going to be for 2019, although I've already decided that in my journaling process, um, it's not going to necessarily be 2019, because <laughs> if you guys have followed me on Instagram, you will know that I sadly am still working on 2012 <laughs> scrapbooking. Um, well, not scrapbooking, um, journaling, but... Um, how pathetic am I? <laughs> I keep, I just, I'm one of those people that I see something and I'm like gung-ho, I got to do it. Oh, go out, I get, you know, what I can afford to buy. And the fact of the matter is, I'm only one lady and there's only 24 hours in the day. And slowly, guys, at 50, almost 52, I am learning that I cannot do everything <laughs> that is going around in my head. So there we are. And so this is why <laughs> I'm still working on 2012, which is quite pathetic. But there you go. The confessions of a crafter, eh? <laughs> um, so yeah, I've decided that this journal, I'm just going to piece together memories and uh, <laughs> I'll tell you guys I'll be quite open with you um, dementia runs in our family and uh, yeah I won't lie it's it weighs quite heavily on me that um, that I'm going to be affected by it so I 
for whatever reason, I'm quite an organized person, but when it comes to the journaling, I'm struggling with the day-to-day -day, um, documentation of my life. So I've just decided, you know, I'm just going to do it however is easiest for me. And and for me, um, I'm, I'm kind of all over the place mentally in my head. Um, and when things come to mind, I'm just going to put them in here and hope <laughs> that, uh, you know, if dementia does uh, affect me, that maybe I can piece together these memories. So you got to laugh. You know, really, you do. Uh, you have to laugh about these things because it's it's out of our hands, you know. So anyways, that's that's my thinking behind this. So, you know, if, if you're thinking, gosh, what, what in the world's the woman doing? That's, you know, for me, I, I think that's the only way I'm going to ever get any journaling done. So anyways, I will show you the inside of this. Now, um, this, uh, gosh, I'm trying to think. I believe this was like a tea towel. Um, and so I just put that on the inside and then I cut out the embroidery bit and I made pockets on the front and the back. Um, so I, I really like that because they're beautiful um, images or, you know, design and I just wanted to save those as little pockets. So there, that's that. And I'm just going to do a quick flip through. I've added some stuff to it and like I told you guys, I, I'm not my layouts are not like you see on YouTube. Um, I'm just at the point of pasting things and trying to write, do some writing. So this um, was some tickets. I got to go to the uh, Chelsea Flower Show, and I've just saved those little tickets and stuck them in this little little pocket there. And this is just uh, some various clip outs to remind me of things that I enjoy doing. Um, this page over here, love these shoes. They're hideous. I agree. They they are I'm not a um a fashion <laughs> I don't have a real sense of fashion guys. I go for comfort over fashion. So um but I love these shoes. They're great for walking in so I I, I took a picture of them because we do a lot of walking. And this is like a little cutout from a local um, brochure of, of an area that we, we generally walk in. And of course, I love my scones with cream and jam, uh, which is why I am on the keto diet now. <laughs> uh, so anyways, um, this is just some Tim Holtz um, wallpaper. And as you can see, I've, I've not done a lot in here, but I've done... Oh, the, yeah, this is a, one of my little snippets. Um, pockets. I'm going to put that in the journal at some point. And the other confessions of a um, crafter is I love hard cider. And Angry Orchard's one of my favorites, so I've saved that. Um, and then this was just off Paul, my husband, he's a beer drinker. I, I can't stand the stuff, but um, this was one of the uh, labels, and I love that old. Uh, old car so I, I I had him save that for me so those are going to go in there because it meant a lot for me I took my children and Paul um, to my home state which is Michigan um, we went back uh, a couple years back I took them up to um, Boyne City uh, Traverse City Mackinac Island and we just had a fantastic uh, Paul and I were up there for a couple of weeks but my kids are, are my kids came in for a week, um, so I got to spend a week with them because my son's in D.C. and my daughter's in uh, Tallahassee, Florida. So this this was, I've saved these from that trip, so that's why they, they kind of mean something to me as well because it was a, a fantastic uh, break away. And then, like I said, Paul and I stayed uh, two weeks in Michigan, and we did another week camping um, up there, and uh, love it. Love that state. Um yeah, hoping, to be honest, I'm hoping that, that, that might, I might end up going back um, and settling there, but we'll just have to kind of see how life unfolds, you know. Uh, anyways, so just various things, you know, that uh, this, this, just another little bit about me, and uh, this is my dog, Daisy. She's a... Um, 12-year-old little mutt, 
everybody thinks she's a corgi. Um, we got her at the uh, Dog Dogs Trust Rescue Center here. Uh, most of the um, dogs <coughs> in the UK come uh, puppies. Sorry, let me let me correct myself here. Uh, most of the puppies in the UK come from uh, Ireland, is what we've been told. And that's my girl there. Her name's Daisy. She's a lovely, lovely dog. Um, we got her, um, well, like I said, she's coming up on 12 years now. And um, bless her heart, she's got a passport. And she's been to, uh, gosh... I, a lot, I don't know, she's been to about six or seven countries with us because um, through my life we've done a number of things to, uh, to make a living, Paul and I have. Um, we've been together for, for 12 years and uh, it's, it's not been easy because, you know, it's a second marriage for us and we've just had to do what we had to do, you know, to make things work. But so Daisy's traveled quite a bit with us over uh, various things. And this summer we did a, um, a five-week road trip of the east coast of the United States before we came back here because we knew we were coming and um, it's something I've always wanted to do. So Daisy, at that point, we went over into Canada and she, she's been in uh, five provinces in Canada we did this summer so that was amazing um, but we take her to to these little places around this is um, just little clippings from various places that we do our walks on on the days you know now it's generally on the weekend um, when I first came over here we, we I wasn't working when I first got here and Daisy and I could do three four weeks uh, walks a week, but now we're kind of just down to doing the weekends. But she's a she's a good girl. She's been a good pal. So um, yeah, this is just typical. What you think of uh, you know English countryside, and then this is just in the little area that uh, we we've really explored a lot over here. And like I said, my. My journaling style is, is not great, but, it, you know, it's just for me, I just really, really want to get down these things um, in a place that I can pull out down the road and, and just reflect on, you know, what I have done with my life. Because <laughs> we question that all the time, don't we? What the, what have I done with my life? <laughs> uh, Malvern. Hills. I do a lot of um, hikes over there, and so I wanted to include that in there, and just various things. Like I said, just uh, just a quick little flip through. This is what I'm working on now, um, alongside another journal. I've got another journal, but I won't show that to you. It's um, it's got quite a lot of you know private thoughts in it, and it's you know it's my own personal thing, so I won't share that one. Um, but so I'm working in two journals at the time. Um, this is a journal I just completed. I'm really pleased with how this come out. Um, uh, you guys know I'm into my little uh, yard sales, car boots. It's you know just different way name for same thing, and my flea markets. And um, the last one I was able to go to, I found this material, and it was just little. Um, it was an interior designer out there who had some, you know, leftover remnants of, of fabric that she obviously used in some of her jobs. And I picked it up because I just love it. I I like um, anything that's kind of farm, housey, but aren't the colors so fresh and cheerful? And I just, I love that rose. You've got the old English um, houses. Um, some eggs there, cherry, butterfly, and then you got some little recipes. I thought that was just gorgeous paper. Uh, not paper, uh, fabric. So I snapped that up. And then she, she, obviously she had some coordinating. And so inside, I've made this into a trifold journal. And then inside I've um, made a pocket, put some 
um, vintage lace along it. So you've got three pockets on the, you know, the cover in the back. And then um, I just got the, uh, the journal inside. I'm not going to go into this too much because um, I will do a separate video for that. But I just wanted to show you guys that I'm really pleased with how that's come out. And I've got quite a bit um, of fabric um, to use up. So I'm going to start trying to work a bit more with the materials because I really am enjoying... Um, the fabric stuff, it's, I don't know, it's just nice to work with it. It's nice to mix it all up, obviously, because you get bored with any one thing. But anyways, I just wanted to show you guys, um, you know, what I've been working on. And I don't, I, I really, I don't really have a plan. I try to jot things down, but sometimes I wake up in the morning and think, oh, actually, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to go off in a different direction altogether. And that's what happened today, because... I didn't really intend to start working in this, and I just ended up doing it, and I love it. I'm really pleased with how that's come out. I think it's a really, it's just beautiful uh, fabric. So, anyways, guys, I'll do a separate video for that um, later, and um, I hope everybody's having a great week, um, and I will be back very soon. Take care. Bye.